The fascinating upshot of Euler's work was this. He could determine, just based on the nodes, the vertexes, the points around the outside of this particular shape, whether you could get all the way around it, and whether you could get all the way around it and end up back where you started. This is extremely important. It was really the first theorem in chart theory. Uh, it basically created the concept of mapping, of optimizing, when you talk about uh, setting up a UPS or a FedEx or a delivery service of some kind. Optimizing your delivery routes is incredibly impor important to uh, saving money uh, in making your business run as, as cleanly and as, as efficiently as possible. So, let's analyze these drawings up here just to see what we can find out. Looking at the nodes and caring about how many lines come out of each one. Two lines come out of this one. Two, two, and two. Those are all even. How about this one? Two lines, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. Those are all even. Over here on this one, two, over here there's four, two, two, four, those are all even. And believe it or not, I can tell from that that I can make it all the way around each of these shapes and start back where I, or end back where I started. Easy enough with this first one, right? What about the second one? You see how that works? What if I start here, go around the whole outside of the shape, but stop here? go around the whole inside of the shape, and then finish out my last part. Ended where I started. How about over here? Think that's possible? Maybe I can start, I'll say, here, and I'll go around. Why don't I go ahead and hit this direction, back this way, over the top, and back. Ended back where I started. I know I can do that because all of the nodes were even. Euler called that particular type of shape a circuit. To honor him, we call it an Euler circuit. Now, what if all the spots aren't, all the nodes aren't even? How about this one? I have two and two, but this one up here's got one, two, three lines coming out of it. And this one's got one, two, three lines coming out of it. There are exactly two odd vertices. This one. Three lines coming out, three lines coming out, it's got two odd. That one had some other evens, this one doesn't have any evens, but who cares? All we care about is the number of odds. Over here, two, two, but three, and three. That's two odd vertices. And remember how I showed you, if you have an odd ver vertex, you can come out of it, but eventually you're going to get stuck coming back. If you have two of them, you can start from one and end at the other. The point is, I can make it all the way around these shapes, but I have to start at one odd vertex and end at the other one. Take a look at this first one. I can start here, go around, take the curve and come back the top. I started here and ended here, but I did make it all the way around. How about this one? I've only got two vertexes to work from. I'll go around and then cross back here. I started here and ended here, but I did make it all the way around. This last one. I could try starting at one of these even vertexes, but I promise you it won't work. I have to start at one of the odds. I can make it all the way around and back down the diagonal. Starting here, ending here. Euler called that particular kind of shape a path, and to honor him, we call it an Euler path. Finally, some shapes don't fit into that description at all. They have more odd vertices than you can work with. This one has, there's two, but there's three, there's three, there's three, there's three. We have four odds in this one. Here we have three, 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 and three. There's another four odds. And here we've got, oh my goodness, two, but then three, 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 and three, so another four odds. We could create more complicated shapes that would have more odd vertices, but the point is, try as you might, you'll never be able to get all the way around these particular shapes. It won't happen because 
you'll end up with a uh, roadblock somewhere. You'll end up at a dead end at one of those extra odd vertices. So we call this one neither an Euler circuit nor an Euler path. Basically, we call it nothing. So who's going to find this value? Well, how about route planners or logistics managers or efficiency experts for big time companies or even just delivery managers for any service provider? OK, folks, now it's your turn. Your sub's going to be giving you an exploration sheet. Call it a worksheet if you want. It's got a bunch of different shapes on it that you're going to try to trace again, some that are a little bit different from what you saw before. This time I want you to keep notes right there on the sheet. There's spots for it about how many odd vertices and how many even vertices there are in each of the shapes. And I want you to come up with your own sort of explanation of what it is that happens with each number of vertices that there is on there. If you were paying attention to the video, these patterns should be pretty obvious to you. If you weren't paying attention, well, give it your best shot, and if you can't get it, ask the sub to show you the video again. Uh, after you've gone through those uh, shapes that I've given you, I want you to come up with four more of your own shapes using the specific instructions that are written there on the sheet. You'll see it as soon as you get it. You can work together in groups on this. That's fine with me, but I do want you each to turn in your own individual sheet. At the bottom of the sheet, it asks you to revisit that Konigsberg Bridge problem. That's the little piece of paper that I gave you before we left two days ago. I want you to look at that again and explain to me now, using the new information that you have, exactly why you can't get all the way around the city. After that, the time is yours. I suggest you read quietly, uh, entertain yourselves, and I will be back to see you next week.